Hi, Jesus. Hello, Klaus. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you here. Yeah. Unfortunately, you are on the screen and not here in Vienna. Uh, we have a great, we have a great session here in Vienna and a great conference with several hundred persons. It would be great to to have you next time. Uh, but uh, it gives me the opportunity to speak with you uh, via the, the, the new media uh, and the, the new the, the the new conference tools that we have since uh, since the <coughs> since time of, of COVID. Yeah. And uh, I would like to talk you with you about a very in uh, interesting and important topic that we have now in Europe. Uh, for the for the persons listening to us, uh, we have a new regulation in um, the European Union, the European Accessibility Act. And this European Accessibility Act uh, will be in force in the uh, countries of the European Union in 2025. Um, together with another regulation uh, that was is enforced since 2018, the Web Accessibility Directive. So we have a legal framework in the European Union, which is very strong in the field of accessibility. Uh, we are together in a, in a project called uh, Accessible EU. Uh, the goal of this project is to set up uh, a kind of uh, agency for accessibility in Europe. Uh, you as ANSE uh, are leading, you are leading this project. Uh, and my first question to you is, uh, why do we need such an agency? Why do we need such a, uh, a body to uh, improve or to enhance uh, accessibility in Europe? Because it's in the, the strategy for rights of persons with disabilities. <laughs> the, the European Commission strategy uh, between uh, 2021 and 2030. And this is a flagship. Uh, it was very demanded by by the people with disability, the association, the umbrella, uh, representing people with disability, because it is necessary to work all the countries together uh, on, the, on the accessibility. Actually, uh, we have a different level of accessibility in different countries. There are different legislation, uh, standards, and for example, there are different uh, level of awareness, uh, training. So we, this is a very good opportunity to uh, start to work all together, all the all the countries together in this uh, project launched by the, the European uh, Commission to work in the same way with the same concept of uh, accessibility. So I think uh, this uh, center of resources of accessibility, it, uh, it is necessary and it must be uh, uh, put in March uh, many, many years ago, but uh, now this is the, the moment the European Commission launched uh, it uh, last year and we start we are starting to work in this in this project now and i hope in this uh, in this uh, year we improve the accessibility all around uh, the, the the europe so uh, answer your your question and why it is necessary because uh, we have to work all the countries together in the same way to to adopt it, the, the the legislation of accessibility as you told now we have the, the european accessibility act and uh, the, the, the countries must to adopt uh, this, uh, this legislation. And uh, with this uh, center, we are going to help the, the, the countries, the companies, the public administration, all the stakeholders working uh, together to work in the same, uh, in the same way. Don't you think that, that uh, the... Uh, it, companies and institutions and organizations in the different countries of the European Union are not aware about European uh, accessibility legislative uh, measures, for example, like the European Accessibility Act or Web Accessibility Directive. When, in my experience, when I talk to people here in Austria, yeah, they all say, what? Uh, what? What is the European Accessibility Act? Yeah? And why do we need it? And all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, it's very important to say also we have a strong consortium that can convince all of the stakeholders in the different countries of the European Union uh, that accessibility is not <coughs> uh, 
an additional thing, but it, accessibility is a necessity for the biggest minority uh, in Europe, the 15% of persons with disabilities. And also when you see uh, the aging py py pyramid that we have, uh, we have we have in in, in 1990 uh, uh, sorry 23 we will have more than 30 percent of the persons living in Europe uh, being older than 65. Uh, uh, so when you formed the consortium to uh, to make this accessible EU project, uh, which did partners did you consider to, to to be on board? I, uh, I'm going with the with the consortium, but uh, I, regarding the, the, the question that uh, some companies uh, and the awareness uh, as uh, you about uh, the accessibility, to me the worst question that some companies or many companies uh, made made me was uh, if I don't comply the legislation on accessibility, are I going to be fine? And uh, this question is the worst question because they don't follow the law yeah. because uh, thinking about the rights of the people with disability and uh, they don't think that the accessibility uh, make better the, their products as, and services and they don't think about the people with disability and other people uh, can be customer of their, their products uh, and their services. So the accessibility, uh, if they if they introduce the accessibility the design, uh, thinking the design for all uh, concept, uh, they can be better, better companies. And talking about the, the consortium, it, it was uh, not easy task to, to, to build a balanced uh, consortium to, to accomplish uh, the, the requirement of the commission because the commission uh, talk about four pillars of the accessibility and the consortium must have senior experts uh, with expertise on a uh, middle environment, on ICT, on transportation and on politics. And uh, we get in our uh, consortium, I think the best and the most experienced uh, uh, organization in, this, in these topics. Uh, for example, in the middle environment, and we, we, we get an ad, European Network for Accessible Tourism in this, in our, in our consortium. Uh, an ad has more than 350 members, they are experts on middle environment, on tourism, on uh, all the chain, the value chain on uh, the, the tourism. So we have experts, experts in this, in this organization, in this, in this uh, net on build environment. Uh, on ICT, uh, uh, the Johannes Kepler University of Linz uh, is one of the most experienced uh, uh, experts uh, on uh, ICT and assistive technologies and accessibility on ICT. They have been working in this topic uh, since 1980s, so uh, close to four. 40 years working on accessibility, and then they they are participate uh, they, they participated in many many different projects, European projects on accessibility. On politics, uh, <coughs> we joined uh, or joined to the consortium EASPD, the European Association of, of Companies Providers of Services for People with Disabilities. There are more more than 20 hundred entities in the umbrella of the EASPD and they know the necessities of the people with disability and they have a very good connection with public administration so they have the expertise on this on this topic the other is UNE the organization the body of standardization in Spain <laughs> I'm sorry because I have a flu and I have problem with my <laughs> with my throat. And H and EDF, and we have national experts uh, too. <laughs> okay. This is the consortium. Yeah. It's okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Concern, concerning ICT and then the universe uh, and then the University of Linz, I, I only can confirm because Klaus Miesenberger from the university is a very good friend of me and uh, <laughs> since I'm working with him since 2002 in this field uh, and I know he's one of the really front runners uh, in the field of in the field of ICT accessibility. Uh, what what are what are what are the measures and the uh, what are the, the the real concrete steps that you have to do within the next five years? Uh, to implement accessibility in the in the brains of the of the responsible persons in in in, in Europe, uh, what 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 do the what 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 is the European Union expecting from you as a consortium to do? <coughs> we have many many tasks to to develop, but sorry because uh, my, my problem uh, talking to, uh, with my throat, I I didn't talk about we haven't talked about. The advisory board. We have an advisory board to help to disseminate the information uh, in their in their members, and we, we have the IWAP, uh, the Association of Professional of Accessibility, in the, in, in Europe, the Fraunhofer Institute, or for example, the Iris Center for Excellence in Universal Design, as a foundation, uh, the, the foundation that organizes Zero Project, or the Design for All Europe, the IDG. Digital Europe is a member of the advisory board, for example, the International Association of uh, Public uh, Transport and the, Europe the European Certification and Qualification Association. So we have an advisory board <coughs> with a, a remarkable, remarkable uh, members that can work in this in this topic, in disseminating and enriching the, the, the information, the knowledge in all the members and we have national members you are one of uh, the national members that you are representing and working in austria in this uh, in this uh, topic uh, as a member of the accessible eu eu center so you you can uh, explain and uh, say what are you going to do uh, in austria and what what uh, do you think is uh, the better to do in in austria i pass the floor to you yeah, that, that's that's right. Uh, I'm I'm the the, the, the Austrian representative uh, for in in this project. And what uh, what I want to do, uh, what I'm going to do, it will be a dissemination and uh, trying to 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 lobby for for the uh, right of person with disabilities and for the implementation of the European Accessibility Act, and that it comes to to, to the brains of the of the responsible persons that they have to implement uh, the. Uh, European Accessibility Act in a way uh, that it is for the good of persons with disabilities and not only that they have to do it. Yeah, uh, <coughs> And concrete things uh, are that we have to, to uh, organize some events. Uh, we have a list of events that we have to do. Uh, I think next year we have one of the biggest events here at, um, uh, hopefully here at the Zero Project Conference together with ESL Foundation because the ESL Foundation, <coughs> uh, as a member of the advisory report, uh, will hopefully support us to do this. Uh, and I'm sitting here now and waiting for the next uh, for, the, for the next speaker in two minutes. And I can see there is EISPD on my side, <laughs> and they have to have the next talk. And we we spoke about EISPD uh, as uh, being a member, being a member of the consortium. Yeah, uh, and I. When when I hear all these these names like EDF or SPD, uh, Age and so on, uh, then I think <coughs> the most powerful groups in representing person uh, interests for person with disabilities are on board, uh, and it, we can't fail with this consortium uh, to really bring accessibility in the in the in the, in the foreground yeah, uh, of politics, and in this way. Uh, I'm sure that I only have one minute. If you have something to say, uh, some famous last words, please. Now is now is the time. No, I just say it's a tough work we, we have to to do now. It's a very necessary to work all together. In a few weeks, we launch uh, the website and we disseminate all the information. I think this is the most important thing. Uh, join. Uh, as much as, as possible, professionals, uh, stakeholders, companies, organizations, uh, public administration working together to
to get an accessible Europe uh, in the next few years. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for joining us here virtually in, in, in Vienna. Uh, uh, you in Madrid? At I moment, am yeah. Madrid. Yeah, greetings, I to went uh, greetings to Spain. Two times to Vienna. Uh, greetings to Sorry? Spain. Greetings to yeah. Spain. Yeah. Stay safe. Okay, uh, recover from your from your cold, and hopefully we will see you again uh, in person next year at the next year project conference. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Thank you very very much. Bye bye, Klaus.